acute appendicitis acute appendicitis an inflammation of vermiform appendix caused by festering microflora it is seen more common among people 10 to 30 years old it leads to more emergency abdominal surgeries the luminal capacity of the normal appendix is only 0.1 milliliters inflamed appendix will likely burst if not removed especially gangrenous appendicitis bursting spreads infection throughout the abdomen leading to peritonitis the inflammatory process in children is very quick even half a day from the occurring there can appear its destruction even perforation in old people the pain sensitiveness is decreased the sclerosis of vessels of appendix results in its rapid numbness initially gangrenous appendicitis develops the destructive forms of appendicitis prevail appendiceal infiltrate pregnant women especially in the second half of pregnancy have more possibility to cause this for bend of appendix and violation of its blood flow for increased uterus in size that displaces chicum together with appendix upwards and an over distension abdominal wall does not create adequate tension they can periodically have a moderate pain in the abdomen and changes in the blood test together with that psoas symptom and the bartimaeus symptom are good to see for diagnosis symptoms 1 anorexia nervosa loss of appetite 2 constipation or diarrhea with gas 3 dull pain near the navel or the upper abdomen that becomes sharp as it moves to the lower right abdomen usually on of the first sign 4. Nausea, vomiting, soon after abdominal pain begins. 5. Low grade, fever, 37.2 to 38.9 OC. Abdominal swelling. They are caused by obstruction of the appendiceal lumen, feces, fecaliths, festering microbes, e.g. streptococcus, staphylococcus, inspissated barium from previous X-ray studies, tumors, vegetable and fruit seeds, etc. Enlarged lymph tissue in the wall of the appendix caused by infection, inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, trauma to the abdomen. Complications, appendiceal infiltrate, conglomerate of organs and tissue not densely accrete round the inflamed vermiform appendix. It develops, certainly, on 3 to 5 th day from the beginning of disease. Acute pain in the stomach calms down, thus the general condition of a patient gets better. It is treated by appendectomy. Appendicular abscess, a collection of pus resulting from necrosis of the tissue superimposed with infection in an inflamed appendix. It is life-threatening. Plastrin, appendicitis, an abscess formation that occurs when the appendix is surrounded by the omentum. Following perforation of acute appendicitis, diffuse peritonitis, pyleflebitis, Diagnosis, physical exam to assess the pain, blood test, e.g. complete blood count, C-reactive, protein test, abnormal rise indicates infection or inflammation, in pregnancy, elevation of WBCS, may be normal, urine test to rule out the urinary tract infection or a kidney stone as the source of the pain, imaging tests, e.g. x-ray, ultrasound, court scan, MRI. Treatment, open appendectomy, during a laparoscopic surgery, if the appendix has burst and infection has spread, you may need an open appendectomy. Treatment includes cleaning of the abdominal cavity to remove bacteria to avoid peritonitis and usually intravenous antibiotics at least for the first few days 
laparoscopic appendectomy, compared to an open appendectomy, less invasive, less pain and scarring, shorter hospital stay and recovery time, and lower infection rates. Antibiotic therapy, e.g. amoxicillin plus clavulinic acid, sphotaxime, or a fluoroquinolone, often with metronidazole or tinidazole, in the total duration of 8 to 15 days, one of the choice over immediate appendectomy considering the harm-benefit balance.